make a speech, go out here on the road of big trees, and buy some To be of, of significance in this country, in my opinion, and maybe only in my opinion, but in my opinion, it was a preparation for the continuance of our war in Asia, Korea, and I think that the leadership in this country at that time, in order to make any of those moves, political moves viable, had to create a false monster, which they did in terms of the communist, so-called communist menace, which really never existed in this country, worth a row of beans. I'm on a blacklist, you know what that means? It's a list of names. Studios have them, the networks, the ad agencies. You're on the list, you're marked, you don't work. You, you, you want to put my name on your scripts? It's not that simple. Bill, this is Howard Prince, the writer. He is now a famous television writer. Seriously, Mr. Prince, the first-class script. This is how... You, if you choose not to hire a person, that's a personal decision. When it becomes a concerted effort and say, which says that these people cannot work, that is a blacklist. were not allowed to work, we know. That careers and people were crucified, we know. That two of my friends committed suicide, I know. That for six years, plus the four and a half years I served in the, in the Army World War II, I had no, that's ten and a half years out of my career. Do you know Alfred Miller? <clears throat> hey, are you guys aware of the fact that every week, busloads of communists are coming in over the border? I mean, is anybody doing anything about that? We are not concerned at this time with anything other than the communist conspiracy in the entertainment world. But, but how come? I mean, wh why aren't we doing something about it? I mean, why isn't everybody armed? You know, everyone should learn how to use a gun, I think. I think it's a big mistake that anyone goes to military schools, only you send them there when they're bad. The principal message from the front is, this should never happen again. We must never let it happen again.
Um, when you say no, I mean, what do you, what you, you know... Well, as a matter of fact, Woody said to me, wouldn't it be great if we made this film 20 years ago? I said we would never, but nobody would have made this film 20 years ago. Was there any protection whatsoever against this sort of goings-on during the McCarthy era? There was no protection. All kinds of people were accused. As a matter of fact, I remember one case of an actor whose name was Gil Green, whose name still is Gil Green. The leader of the Communist Party in New York City was also called Gil Green. Now, this actor was not in any way related politically. He never got called anymore. They didn't even take the trouble to... Obviously, the leader of the Communist Party in New York City was not an actor looking for a job. But because he had the same name, this guy never worked. One man is falsely damned as a communist in an hour like this, when the red issue is at white heat, no one is safe. <laughs> Gentlemen, I maintain that preservation of the rights of the... Thank you. 